Names and dates are etched on the majority of gravestones before they're installed in cemeteries. But when someone dies after a stone has been set, the monument has to be engraved on site. As Tyler Lake reports, an Indiana man travels the state to etch in history the final word for hundreds of Hoosiers. Guy Blanchett has been painstakingly engraving headstones in the Hoosier State since the early 80s. But the Canadian-born engraver learned his trade at a monument company on the East Coast when he was only 17 years old. I got a job there as a stone cutter, stone polisher, and stone carver. And I learned from the Italians. I mean, the Italians, they were good. After a while, uh, there was no, no advancement. Uh, you can't make so much money, and that's it. So uh, when I knew how to engrave stone, I said, I'm going to start doing some engraving. And, and, and there was too many people doing it. And all the Italian was doing it. So I decided to come here in 1982 in Indiana. And uh, it, it, it exploded from there. He started out working for a monument company in Indiana, but always with the hope of doing the work on his own. And uh, they went under in 1985. So I bought all the equipment and all the accounts came with it. So now Guy travels across the state, a large air compressor for sandblasting in tow. He carefully measures and applies stencils to prepare for the sandblasting process. It's exacting work, but Guy says sometimes he gets to work on intricate pieces that test his years of experience. The biggest one I ever did is the one in uh, Troy, Ohio. Did that about four years ago. It's like a pyramid monument and stuff. There was all kinds of design that they designed themselves, and I had to go there and put it together. He's in high demand and waits until the cemetery has at least a handful of jobs before he comes and knocks them all out in a single trip. I, I probably say I do about 90% of Indianapolis. But he isn't keeping all that business to himself. He's showing his grandson the craft, hoping one day he'll be part of the family business. My, my two sons are doing this, this, the same thing. I've got one son who lives in North Vernon, does the same thing. I've got my other son lives uh, in Indianapolis, but near Brownsburg. He does all Buchanan Group's work over here, mostly all the, all the groundwork. He says he's happy that his children and now grandchildren have followed in his footsteps and are keeping the craft alive. It, it is a dying art. A lot of people don't know how to do it. And the thing is, today, you can't just go out and say, I'm going to do this. You have to work in a shop for a few years to learn the basic, you know, how, how to engrave. If you don't do this, you can't start on your own. You'll mess it up. And uh, most of the people that works in the monument shop don't get paid that much. It's hard to get started. He says while it pays well, it's the effect on others' lives that gives his work value to him. I'm the one that do the last thing on people's lives, put their date or name on the stone. After that, just go put some flowers. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Tyler Lake.